We're here with head coach Cleve Wright, uh, sophomore guard Kayla Brown, and sophomore forward Megan Galloway after a 69-58 win over Buffalo. First, before we go on to the game, coach, you wanted to give an update on the condition of sophomore guard Bailey Reed. Yes, uh, Bailey will be out for the rest of the season. Yeah, I can't. Um, I don't know that she's given me permission to tell people what it is, but she's out for the rest of the season. So, right. on to some better news. Um, yeah. Let's talk about the, today's win. Your opening statement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought uh, our mentality was really good. We certainly didn't play a perfect ball game, but I thought our mentality and the way we handled it uh, was very strong. Um, I think uh, as a team, I think everybody uh, came in and contributed. I thought the bench was really strong, really loud, really supportive, um, and really kind of uh, handling a tough situation and uh, just really happy with the way uh, they responded. Loved the way they stayed together, stayed unified. Uh, again, even when the ball wasn't bouncing our way, staying unified. And many times I saw players going, that's all right, come on, we got this next. And we're going to go. We're going to go, and that's what you got to have when you're when you're uh, going through adversity. Uh, Kayla and Meg, um, knowing when you have a player go down like that, do you feel the uh, pressure to kind of um, replace her? And what is the team mentality? How do you go about replacing a player like that? Sure. Um, I mean, I don't think you can ever like replace a person, especially like someone like Bailey. Like we can't replace her, but I think everyone just as a whole feels that we can all step it up. And um, I don't know if it's necessarily pressure, but just like stepping up and like mm -hmm. taking one for her and just knowing that we have her back. Like she always, always had ours. Okay. Yep. Uh, Meg, uh, when you come in, you seem to always have to do the battling down low. You got with eight rebounds, 10 points. Uh, how do you, what, do you, what is your mentality when you come in for, to the game? Um, I guess exactly that. I like battling. I like when the other post player wants to be physical with me. And I don't know. I just, my main focus is just like to rebound, I guess, and to get some O boards. And I guess whatever it takes to do that, I'm going to do. All right. uh, Kayla, you have your best offensive output of the season. Did you feel like you're starting to get your shot back after several games of getting your feet wet? Yeah, I think I'm definitely starting to feel more confident and aggressive, and um, I just had a lot of great opportunities for my teammates setting screens, good passes that um, let me be able to do that. All right. Coach, you held the, deep, the Buffalo to 26% shooting for the game. Can you talk just a little bit about the overall defensive effort? I thought our ladies uh, executed the game plan uh, down to the letter, and uh, they really uh, did a heck of a job. The effort was there. Um, they played smart. Um, I just did that effort for 40 minutes was, was uh, on the defensive end, and executing the game plan uh, I thought was one of the best of the year. Talk about the second half when Buffalo made a run, actually took the lead. Uh, there in the second half, and you, you talked about the diversity, uh, the adversity of uh, you know the day. You really, team really responded to some adversity there as well. Mm -hmm. Cut what was an eleven point lead down and took the lead. Absolutely, I think there was a there was a couple there was a few shots there in that second half that kind of opened up opened us up a little bit. You know, late in the shot clock, Kayla getting the ball to to Kristen to nail that three. You could just feel it. You could feel it on her bench. You could feel it on the floor. Then Anna dr uh, drains one on the opposite side, and I'm not sure what the exact order was, but Leah Purvis hitting one coming off the bench and her being in foul trouble the whole game, and to be able to have the confidence to step up and. Uh, I think that says also for our team with Leah being out mostly. Of course, we'd lost Bailey. She's gone for the season. Leah's in foul trouble. You know, I think Kayla really stepped up. We had Nancy step up. We had some people step up in that position and help us. Your offense seemed to be more deliberate today as well, really working the ball around, getting good shots. I thought, I thought mm -hmm. it was really successful in the mm -hmm. first quarter. Well, I thought today we didn't pass up good shots. I think there's been times that we've worked the ball around and then we haven't taken the good shot. And for people like Meg, when you take the good shot, she's going to ha have a better chance if you do miss it to get an offensive rebound. And so she doesn't have to hesitate. Of course, Meg you know, works hard no matter what, but it's just easier as an offensive rebounder. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Kayla, and thank you, Meg. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Good job. Thanks. Good job.